Okay, we're taking a look at our shoulder mobility test, kind of taking from uh, FMS and doing our own version of it. Uh, so first and foremost, I'm going to demonstrate the exercise to Steve. I'm going to have Steve take his hands outstretched and directly at 90 degrees. We're going to pull the thumbs in, grasp our fingers over the thumb. I'm going to have him take one arm, we're going to use his right arm to go over and behind his head. His left arm is going to go under and behind his back, both the lines of the spine, and we're not crawling them together. Okay? Uh, now we're going to take a measurement of Steve's hand, and that's what we're going to use as our benchmark. We're going to take his hand, he's going to splay it out as far as he can. I'm going to take it to the very direct tip of his uh, thumb. I'm going to measure off the tip of his pinky. That is Steve's uh, hand measurement. So we have to be in about one and a half widths of this is where we want to be for uh, high shoulder mobility. If we're outside of that, then, uh, then we're going to do mo uh, mobility exercises to improve it. Okay? So Steve, go ahead and show him what it will be like if we have good shoulder mobility. Good. So he didn't crawl it up at all, and right now, He's within uh, about three quarters of a hand uh, of a of a hand's length. Okay, Steve, go ahead and go back to the starting position. Show him what it looks like if you have a bad shoulder mobility. Good. So here we're at about a little over one and a half, about one and three quarters, somewhere in there. So that's what it looks like if we need to do shoulder mobility. Uh, if we need to correct shoulder mobility, and to correct shoulder mobility, what we're going to do, we're going to stretch his lats out to improve the hand that's going overhead. And we're going to stretch his chest out to improve the, the hand that's going behind his back. Okay? Uh, we're also going to do some shoulder dislocations with the PVC pipe just to improve general shoulder mobility. Go ahead and do your dislocations first, Steve. So Steve's keeping his arms completely straight, going front to back. As he gets uh, good with this, and Steve's done this before, so we're going to have him scoot his hands in a little bit to make it a little bit less comfortable. He's going to continue to keep his, his arms straight. We're going to work that range of motion. We don't want to go so far that we're injuring ourselves. We do want to make this a little bit uncomfortable as we get to our sticking points. So I'll have him do six to eight of those, and then I'll also have him do around uh, what I call around the world. He's going to go down, over, and back, and then back to the front. All the way down the back. There you go. And I'll have him do about five, six to eight each way. All right. So from there, we're going to stretch his lat. We're just going to use a resistance band that's down in the gym. I'm going to have Steve take this band over his shoulder. I'm going to let that shoulder be drawn back, all right? Almost punching that fist to the ground using the band to do it. Go ahead, Steve. All right, notice he's stretching his lat and his tricep here. Those are two components that are going to keep you from having high shoulder mobility. Go to the other side. And again, we're just going to let that draw back. Good. From there, we're going to do a PNS stretch on his chest. Steve, take a seat. All right, we're going to turn our legs sideways in the back so he has a good surface to lean against. So I'm going to pull him into it. So I'm going to have my leg directly in his spine. All right, I'm going to have him bring his arms up to 90 degrees. I'm going to come inside of his arms, apply pressure to the inside of his elbows, and it's almost like a, a, a peg fly machine. So I'm going to push back until he's uncomfortable. I'm going to stop. Good. All right. So we're going to hold this about 20 seconds before I have Steve apply pressure and apply and, and apply kind of uh, movement. Go ahead. So he's just applying pressure here. All we're doing here is trying to turn off our GTOs. He's going to relax. I'm going to go back into the stretch and a little bit deeper this time. We're going to hold each static stretch about 20 seconds, and we'll repeat the exercise. So from here, I'm going to retake a hand measurement. Play your hand out. Right there. Again, his measurement. Have him go directly back into, into the test. And by stretching and mobilizing his elbows, we're going to go a little bit farther. So we're almost halfway now. Okay. That's the shoulder mobility test, and we'll do that on both sides. So go ahead and do it on the other side as well. This arm going up and over. That's how we do it on both sides. All right? Thank you.